All right, y'all, good evening. Uh, good morning, good afternoon. It is 7.15 here in South Carolina in the evening where I'm at. There's no telling what time you'll be watching this or when I'll post it, so good whatever. Um, I'm at a pond I come to to catch bait every once in a while. Sometimes I'll show a little bit of footage of that. Um, but what I'm gonna do this time is just catch a few small brim, maybe just one. I'm gonna cut him up, use him as cut bait, we're going to throw some rods out and try to either catch a bass or catch a catfish just to see if there's catfish in this pond. Of course, I know there's bass in it. I've seen my boys and some other people here catch them. Um, I just got to tie my brim rod up because he got broke on the last trip. Not the rod itself, but just the hook got broke off. But I'm going to tie that up and we're going to head down to the pond and I will hook, cut you back on when we get there. out here in this pond. I need to bring a kayak out here one day and just collect all of them. Oh yeah, we got some, got a nice point out here we can get out on. Man, it's low. All right, y'all. Just attempt to catch some uh, a brim or something to use as bait. Just a red worm on a float, and it's not. Don't even have a piece of split shot or anything on it. Hopefully, this won't take long. Got us one. Nice piece of bait. Hopefully that's the only one we'll need. If not, we'll catch more. All right, y'all, we're going light tackle today. I just got like a 17 pound leader. Just a small piece of that cut brim. It's a number one circle hook and it glows in the dark. And then that's like a one or a two ounce a uh, slip sinker, or an egg sinker, I should say, just on a regular peanut rig. All right, the other pole is basically the same rig, y'all. This is just eight pound line with a one ounce uh, egg sinker swivel and I think believe that's like 17 or 14 pound uh, just mono as the leader number one circle hook that glows in the dark small piece of cup brim we'll put them both out on the bottom we don't get nothing within 15 20 minutes I'll reel one in and put a uh, Make it into a Santee Cooper rig and put a float on it, float it up off the bottom. The bottom may be super mossy or something, I really don't know yet. I need to give me some bales or something so I ain't got to pay so much attention to them. All right, there's no guarantee we're gonna catch any fish on these two rods. Um, but we're gonna stay until the rain either runs us out or daylight. I did bring a flashlight to get back out of here. It ain't far, but I'm just more concerned about snakes trying to get out of here. All right, let's see if we can find us another brim. little small one I'm 
Another little brim. And he had a bite on either one of these other poles yet. World's littlest largemouth bass. Nope, I was mistaken. That's the world's largest or smallest largemouth bass. He swallowed the hook too. Have to go get my pliers. Got something. Something made the bluegill. Tighten the drag up just a hair. Freaking turtle. Oh. Me and turtles, though. Me and turtles. Man, that was going to be my first bass, which I'm assuming it was going to be a bass coming out of this pond on live bluegill. That was going to be my first bass on a live bluegill ever. That's a freaking turtle, though. We about to start eating turtles. I ain't never ate one, but we about to start eating them. All right, y'all, we're going to give it five more minutes because the malaria is starting to set in, though the mosquitoes are freaking trying to carry me away. All right, y'all, we have got to get out of here. Plan was to come out here and catch some live bait, throw some cut bluegill out there, hopefully hook into a bass or a catfish or something of that nature. That didn't work out, so we ended up going live bluegill. Ended up hooking into a turtle. He come off, and I think he just tormented me the whole time. So, Anyways, we did catch a few bluegill, sunfish, whatever you want to call them, a couple itty-bitty, itty-bitty small bass, uh, which was pretty neat to do because I don't ever catch a bass anyways but I'm gonna get out of here it is dark 30 the mosquitoes are trying to eat me alive 
and uh, I still got a little bit of light to navigate out of here. I thought I had a flashlight in my pocket, but I must have left it in the truck. All right, y'all. I will get back at you when I get back at it. Check you later.